So in front of me, I've got all these packages and um, the reason I've actually got these is because I want to step up my game as a cinematographer. When I get more freelance work, I'm gonna to want to get my own equipment because I've only got one year left of university and then once I graduate, I'm not gonna have access to all the lights and everything. I'm gonna start from the top and work down to the bottom. I'm gonna get straight into it. So we're gonna start with this box here. Obviously I know what I ordered, but I don't know what order it's gonna be basically. <laughs> So we've got my trusty scissors here. Um, I feel like I'm gonna take forever to like um, get open all these packages. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, here we are. So um, there's gonna be so much waste. I'm gonna chuck it to the side, I'll get rid of it later. So uh, barbecue gloves, you're looking at me, why the hell did I buy barbecue gloves? Well, when you're using lights, the lights get extremely hot. And um, if you touch it with your bare hand, it will just burn your hand. So I bought some barbecue gloves because these are heat resistant. Now they're not typical gloves for a gaffer to use, uh, but they do the job. It's like a heat protection up to 1,472 Fahrenheit. It's very precise. Heat and flame resistant, made with meta and power. Other hot work, including lighting. So that's the uh, gloves. Very basic but um, essential for when you're setting up lights. Tube here. Uh, I actually opened this already because um, I wanted to look what it was. Um, so basically, this is just a load of colored gels. Now, if you don't know what gels are for, this is basically on lights, you can change the color. So uh, for example here, we've got orange, which is also known as CTO, which is color temperature orange. This makes the lights warmer. We've got red, we've got CTB, and um, one of these is a full CTB, so that's a very intense bright blue. And then one of them is a half CTB, which isn't as intense. Um, so it basically depends on the setting, but um, we've got different intensities of blue gels here. Green gels, so maybe if, for like mu music videos, perhaps I might want to use green. And then um, finally, I've got two pieces of diffusion here, which um, are good for diffusing the light around. So these gels specifically um, handle 800 watts lights, the ones that I bought. Next up, we have in here. Ah, yes. So this is black wrap. If you don't know what black wrap, this is a material which blocks light. So when you lay it in front of a window or um, with a, in a light, it completely cuts the light out. Say you've got a scene where you wanna get rid of all the light coming into a room so you can cover all the windows with this stuff and that will basically just get rid of all the sunlight coming into the room. So say you wanna do a day for night scene inside and it's daytime and you wanna shoot a nighttime scene, then what you can do is place this around the windows and that will cut out all the light. You can also use this around lights so you can uh, create kind of um, shapes around the lights to um, create a direction of light so it could be a very, very thin light just coming like on a tiny bit of the face. So um, you can use this for so many different purposes I've got a lot of it it's quite a few meters and uh, this is gonna be really useful for when I get back on set black wrap is a must for any cinematographer um, or aspiring cinematographer so yeah black wrap really really useful this box here this is from newer apparently I didn't really look at what company it was I just kind of ordered it um, but yeah we're gonna go into this a long tubey box oh no here we go this is definitely a cheap bit of kit. This is not, um, so I'm just gonna set this up quickly and show you what it actually is. So, this is all set up now. So basically, I'll bring it over here. So what we got here is a reflector stand or it could be a cloth stand. So what I mean by that is you've got a clip here and you've got a clip here either side and you can also um, adjust the height of this so you can bring it up like that. Say I want a diffuse light, I can place the reflector on here. So what I could do is put a reflector on here or a sheet of, um, for example, shower curtains or bed sheet. I could clip this on either side and then basically shine light through it or with a reflector, bounce the light. And um, it's still basically just give a nice soft lighting. And instead of having a person holding a reflector or the um, cloth, I can use this, just clip on and uh, it's much, much easier. So this is a really, really useful piece of kit. Right, moving on, we have another newer product. Now newer are known for very cheap products, but they're good quality for the price you pay. Now. Of course, you can go and spend thousands of pounds on kit, but I didn't really want to. I wanted to get as cheap as possible, but also still good quality. So um, we're gonna open this one now. I would say order the, the most expensive stuff you can, but don't go overboard because you don't always need the most expensive kit. As long as it does the job, that's all you need. And on big sets, they use DIY stuff. They don't always use, of, of course they use professional lights and everything, but they also use, you know, DIY stuff. So basically this is a five in one reflector. Ah. 
So it's pretty big, like, you know, it's a pretty big reflector. Um, but basically, the use of this is, it has five uses. Um, so the first one being, I'm going to stand up for this. The first one being it has a shiny side and this is for bouncing light. Say you've got a subject, you can get the sunlight, it bounces off it into the subject. Pretty self-explanatory. And um, basically, on the other side of this, we've got a white and then we've got a gold and then we've got a black. And then these, these are all for different uses, but pretty simply, uh, the white's for diffusion, silver's for bouncing, gold's for bouncing, but it's a very um, magical look. Um, and then black is basically just cutting all the light out. And then apart from that, we've just got a standard, um, standard reflector, which um, this can either bounce or diffuse light. So um, loads of different uses of this, but um, yeah, I might do another video about how to use um, reflectors. So this is the 5-in-1 reflector with the stand and um, I realise you can't clip it on both sides but that means that I can clip something on the other side and it holds perfectly on one side. So that's the 5-in-1 reflector on the stand. Really, really cool. So I'd highly recommend getting one of these 5-in-1 reflectors and also the stand. This is from newer. Very, very useful and so many uses of it. So um, yeah, that's a must get. Another thing that came with the um, reflector is muslin clamps. These are very, very useful. So. I got six of them. Very simply, these are just um, very, very strong clamps. And what you can do them is to clip cloth to um, cloth to anything. So if you want to block light, you can use this clip. Final thing we've got is this massive box, which is here. This is the thing I've been waiting for to unbox. I'm very, very excited about this one, indeed. So I open this box and look what there is. There's more gels. And pretty much the amount of gels that I got, I figured that was it with gels because I ordered two sets and there was like two of each in there. So I figured that was it, but looks like with the lights, I actually got some more. So <laughs> that's great. I've got even more gels. So this is just a, um, a light stand. Got three light stands here for three lights. So um, basically we've got this bag here. It says HWA Mart, Hawa Mart. Apparently Hawa Mart's the company. Um, but this is basically the bag which I'll be putting the lights in. What a solid bag to be honest, like there's quite a lot of um, heftiness to it. I'm going to take all the boxes out first. So, get rid of this huge box. Woohoo! Right. Oh, it's all apart in pieces. Here's a bulb. So um, you actually get two bulbs in here, which is pretty nice. You got um, a spare bulb. So um, this is the red headlight and I'm gonna put the bulb in here. I'm gonna put this front bit on. So here we go. These are um, the red heads and this is one of them here. And um, basically it's just a, um, it's an open face light and um, that means that it goes everywhere. There's, there's not really um, any control except these barn doors you can use to control the light. It's a very, very powerful light. It's 800 watts, which is really, really bright. If the bulb does happen to explode and that can get really dangerous because it's extremely hot, this bit in front here will stop the bulb from coming out and going everywhere. So this is very, very essential for using these type of lights. I figured I'd get these because you get three for 140 pound. It's a really, really good deal. And um, you know, these are, these are very, very powerful lights. The only thing is they come out at 3200 Kelvin. So you have to um, basically use CTB blue gels um, to convert it to the right um, Kelvin for what you're shooting at. So sometimes you want to shoot at that Kelvin, but sometimes you don't. So it really depends on what you're going for. We've got also this bit here so you can turn it on and off and um, you can adjust the intensity here. That's pretty much it for the unboxing, but um, let's see what the redheads have got. So this is an absolute mess right now. This is what I've been doing, unboxing all the stuff and it's led to this mess everywhere. I'm gonna clean it all up. So I put the lights here in the bag. So I've got the three lights down in the middle. I've got the plugs here and then I've got the barn doors to the side here. And then um, in the front, got all the spare bulbs and stuff in there, which is really nice. So um, that's that on the bag. Got these to keep it extra secure, which I can't do now, these basically clip into there. And that's that, that's the bag which um, lift it up, yeah, it's all right. So behind me, I've got the red headlight all set up and um, I'm just gonna show you how bright this thing goes. It is ridiculous. It is so bright, literally, that is just ridiculous. Look at the difference, so off and then on. 
That is mental. I'm going to be so lit. But the thing is, these lights, right? These lights are so bright that you have to be really careful because they get really hot. Like, I already feel the heat coming from that light. So you have to be really careful with this light. So I'm going to show you the difference between straight hard light and then if you add a bounce on it. So let's do straight hard light first. You notice how it's just really hard on me. Doesn't look great. Let's do it now with the bounce. So this is now with the light bouncing into a reflector. Obviously it looks horrible at the moment because I haven't controlled the light at all. But um, I'm just giving you um, an idea of the difference between hard light and bouncing. So obviously bouncing is a much better way. I must say these lights are very, very hot. I can feel the heat from them. So uh, it's just one thing that I need to consider. But yeah, great, great lights and I uh, can't wait to start trying them out. I'll make a video testing them properly. So if you move the lights around with the bulbs on, because they get so hot, they can explode. So you've got to be really, really careful of that. And um, of course, if you can turn them off between takes, for example, um, just so they don't, you know, overheat and explode. I hope everything I got was quite inspiring for you guys because um, all these things are really essential if you want to become a cinematographer. So um, black wrap, for example, is crucial. And then you've got lighting, of course, you've got reflectors. Um, yeah, loads of different stuff. So I um, hope I inspired you guys and uh, I'll see you next time.